Well, Merry Christmas. Let me explain. You see, I've got pretty good at playing this game with Santa. This is a recreation of the letter I sent him this year, and I know how Santa works, right? He's gonna get me at least one thing from my list. Now, a lot of people play this game sort of greedy, you know? They send a whole laundry list of things that they would like, and maybe they'll get a couple, but he's only guaranteed to get you one. Because of this, I usually just include one thing on the list that I really want, and then I get it. And that explains a lot of the rare math books I have. Well, this year I got a little greedy. I put two things on my list. I thought, well, if Santa does get me two things, that will be great. But the first thing on the list is an inflatable version of a limited edition calculator. That obviously doesn't exist. There's zero chance Santa gets me that. And I've been feeling a little sentimental lately, so I know he's gonna get me number two. And I'm gonna fall in love. So, turns out I had those odds backwards. Now don't get me wrong, I'm actually really happy with this. But it really opened up some old wounds. You see, in 1976, Texas Instruments released the Spirit of 76 Electronic Calculator, a limited edition calculator celebrating the bicentennial anniversary of the United States. It's a gorgeous calculator, as you can tell, with these lovely white buttons, a blue print, beautiful little picture with the banner on there, and uh, the red trim is really to die for. Of course, I have one of these calculators in perfect working condition in box. It's a great part of my collection. But at this point, I just want answers. Texas Instruments, what is this? What is this? Why is there an inflatable version of a limited edition calculator from 1976? Why do I have this? Why do I have a calculator balloon in my living room? And what am I gonna say when people come in my house and they ask me, what's that? I, what is this? I just want an explanation. It holds air too, okay? This is like, this is good as new. I can inflate it for you right here, right now. You know, I put number two on my list here. I thought, wow, number one's completely outlandish. So obviously, you know, what's my mouth gonna be doing on Christmas day? Maybe some smooching? What am I gonna be smooching? I'm gonna be smooching the nozzle on a calculator balloon. Yeah, there it is. That is incredible. Now you might be thinking, okay, I could see why you would want an explanation. You know, this is a little strange, but Wrath of Math, why don't you just email Texas Instruments? Why don't you just DM them on Twitter, for example? Well, let me tell you why, okay? Because that's where the trouble began. Okay, how about that time they called me a nerd when I tweeted at them asking for advice on my dating profile picture? I said, at TI Calculators, what's wrong with my dating profile picture? And I included this dapper photo of me with my mint condition sealed Texas Instruments TI-108. Link in the description to my hour and 15 minute long documentary talking about this calculator. And also, if you join Wrath of Math as a channel member now, you can watch my watch along commentary video of the documentary. That's like another two hours of me talking about this calculator. Anyways, what did Texas Instruments say about my dating profile picture? They said, your style is spot on with the nerd emoji, the nerd emoji, what? They say the approach might be a bit elementary just cause I'm not bowing at the shrine of the TI-84 plus, okay? Some of us have class, some of us have standards, some of us have a little bit of appreciation for vintage calculation, okay? I do my calculations on TI-108s and chessboards, all right? Call me a lark fiend, it is what it is. Maybe time to upgrade some accessories, huh? Well, maybe if somebody would send me a care package of accessories, I could have some upgrades, but let's get into that. Because yes, I do want Texas Instruments to explain that balloon, okay? I would really like that. However, there's something far more significant I would like them to explain, and that's the time they ghosted me on Twitter three years ago. 
You see, in the summer of 2021, I released my documentary about the Texas Instruments 108 calculator. Shortly thereafter, they DM'd me on Twitter. They said, hey, Wrath of Math, your TI YouTube documentary made our day. Such great work. What's the best mailing address for you? We've got a surprise headed your way. I cannot tell you how excited I was when I received this DM. In fact, this is my smartphone, and when you shake it, its flashlight turns on. I didn't even know that until I got this DM, and I was freaking out, and my flashlight turned on. I couldn't believe it. Now, obviously, I was beyond flustered as anyone would be if Texas Instruments slid in their DMs, and I replied, and I gave them my address. I said, I'm excited. They said, thanks, Sean. We'll have it in the mail soon. And I never heard back. So what do I really want for Christmas? It's not love. It's not a calculator balloon. I want my care package from three years ago. And if you could explain the balloon, I'd be really interested to hear about that too. So Texas Instruments, don't test me, okay? I'll give up my limited edition transparent green TI-83 Plus, and I'll go back to just using a chessboard and dirty pennies. I can do it, okay? I promise you. I want my care package. I want it to include a TI-84 Plus CE plushie. I want to know what the heck is up with this balloon. And if, if this doesn't happen, I might have to enter what I think kids call these days a villain arc. Don't act so special. What I do is not for you. Forget about it. You made this mess up. Now get your door. Don't you ignore or forget about it. Get it, got it.